Natural Resources. Earth here again. I always like to start by showing you a picture of me, just to remind you how beautiful, amazing, and magnificent I am. Everything people need in order to live happy, healthy lives is available right here on Earth. What continents can you see in this picture? You can see Europe, Africa, and a little bit of Asia. You can always spot Europe because of the shape of Italy. That's the one that looks like a boot. See the big brown area at the bottom of the picture? That's North Africa. It is almost completely covered by the Sahara Desert, which is the biggest desert and one of the driest, hottest places on Earth. You won't find too many people living in the Sahara Desert, but that does not mean that nobody lives there. It is possible to live in the desert, but there are very few natural resources like water in the desert, which makes it very difficult for people to live there. Let's talk a bit more about natural resources for a minute. Natural resources are things you can find in nature, outside, underground, underwater, or even in the sky. Natural resources are not made by people. Natural resources are part of me, good old Earth. There are two natural resources in this picture. Can you guess what they are? Hint. One is wet, the other is wood. Water and trees are two examples of natural resources that are very important and valuable to people. As I just said, one natural resource is water. Of course, one way we use water is to drink it just as it is. Other things we drink, such as juice, soda, and tea, also contain water. In what other ways is water a resource? We use water for baths, washing dishes, brushing our teeth, cooking, and watering the garden where we grow food. The list goes on and on. Trees are natural resources too. This illustration shows just a few things that come from or are made out of trees. What else is made from trees? Since trees are mostly wood, we use that resource to make all sorts of things. Wood for houses, furniture, pencils, baseball bats, and a million other uses. Paper is also made from trees. Everything made out of paper comes from trees, including your notebook, napkins, cereal boxes and other cardboard boxes, and the posters on the wall in your classroom. This is a pretty picture of trees, but I actually wanted to point out something else. The blue sky above the trees. Trees are also important because of their connection to another natural resource in the sky, air. You really can't see air but it is all around you and everything else on Earth. Did you know that trees actually help keep the air clean and fresh for you to breathe? Amazing, right? All plants help clean the air, but trees are the biggest and best air cleaners. They take in dirty air and put out nice, fresh oxygen which your body needs to breathe in to stay alive. The more trees there are, the cleaner the air will be. If the air is too dirty, though, even the trees will get sick. There are other important natural resources, too. I am going to zip through these pretty quickly just to give you an idea of the kinds of natural resources you can find scattered around on or inside the earth. But don't worry, I am going to tell you more about them over the next few days. 
This picture was taken on a farm. What do you see? You can call it dirt if you want, but farmers call it soil. Soil is a natural resource, and it's where farmers plant their crops. Soil is made up partly of the decayed or rotten parts of dead plants and creatures. Worms help to turn the dead things into new soil. It can take about one thousand years to make one inch of good soil. Without soil, you wouldn't have plants or vegetables. Here is a school of fish. A school is a group of fish. Fish are important natural resources. Why? Because some people and animals eat them. In fact, some animals eat nothing but fish. Do you know what these two natural resources are? The one on the left is called coal. The one on the right is oil. Coal and oil are natural resources that come from inside the earth. Coal and oil can be used to make energy, electricity. Or fuel to make cars run. So now you know what natural resources are, and I'll tell you this: you people sure are clever because you've figured out how to turn all these natural resources—water, trees, air, and the soil on land—into many things that you need. Over the next several days, I'll teach you how to conserve these natural resources as a way to help take care of the earth. To conserve means to save or protect something. I'll also teach you that using some natural resources too much can actually hurt the earth, and none of us want that, right?